Hey what, it's my Corona protection. And so, I'm not sure how to make this video because I don't want to make a review on such early code. It has lots of obvious bugs, it totally misses polishing, there are many unfinished things, and the worst, even if you know all those, there might be some small changes that will completely alter the overall user experience. So I'm not gonna review anything, and I will only show you how it works currently. Before the demo though, two things. First, Shell 40 is so extremely beautiful that really hides some usability issues that I believe it introduces. And second, this is the first time Shell 40 is actually usable, so I'm using it for 3 to 4 hours already. I'm really enjoying it and I will keep using it. But enough said. And so to the demo. And we start with the first view that is exactly same like GNOME 338. We have the top panel and the calendar widget, and nothing is different here. Then, to open Windows Picker we can press Super, or even use the hot corner. Now, here the first difference is obviously the dock that is on the bottom, which makes sense since everything has moved to an horizontal orientation. And let's open some windows to see what's gonna happen. So, now we have three workspaces, and we have this small preview on the previous desktop on the left, and the next on the right. From here we can navigate like that, and people have already used elementary know already that's the cutest workspace is switching ever made. But on the very next we have all the controversy, which summarizes to the question how we see all our workspaces? To do that, we need to move a window, and currently there is no other way. So if we're going to move this terminal window, what will happen is that everything will scale down, and from that point we can place the window anywhere we want. But not between two workspaces, at least not for now. So, this functionality needs a big discussion that I'm not willing to make yet because I first want to see everything else to work as it should, for having a correct opinion. For example if we drop this window on the last workspace, a very rough animation will take place, and it will return us to the current desktop, which is obviously a wrong behavior. Another issue is that we only have 4 workspaces, and we already get a very bad visual and user experience. And the problem is increased dramatically with many windows and 5 to 6 virtual desktops. But I'm not going to demo that, because it bugs and I already have made like 10 recordings. But pretty much it reminds me Plasma Overview, that I'm not really a fan. Now, another way to see our workspaces is from the app picker, which is more like the traditional design. Here we can launch new applications like this, or even move our windows between workspaces and even create new desktops. We also have our applications grid that is horizontally aligned as expected, but unexpectedly it seems I can't move them. Then we have the app folders, and all the usual from the previous version. Like the search for instance. Not any changes here. And anyway, that was pretty much everything, and I couldn't show all the things I wanted because of various bugs. About the new workspaces design, I believe it is more like a regression rather than an enhancement, but they also include some nice improvements. But I'll be waiting for all the bits to arrive before making like a final assessment. So, be polite on the comments and remember that everyone is trying for the best. And if the best isn't enough, we have Plasma 2. It's not the end of the world. But one thing to agree, Shell 40 is like me. Super cute, and Space Coco out.